What's up everyone, this is Mo Tutorials here and today I'm going to show you how to boost your processor or CPU speed in Windows 10 for free. You don't need any software, you don't need anything crazy. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it step by step. So the first thing is uh, open up a like a Windows File Explorer and basically go to this PC. In here, you're going to right click and click into Properties. Once you're in this page, we're going to click into Change Settings and we're going to click into Advanced. And in Advanced, we're going to click Settings. Now in here, there's a couple of things you can do. You can either manually like kind of do what you want to, but obviously since you're trying to ask, <laughs> get the best performance, you're going to do adjust for best performance. Once you do this, you can press apply and it'll literally do everything it can to increase the performance of your computer. Now, this is mostly for people who have like slow computers or lower processor speeds. Like I have an i7, it's insanely fast, whether I do it or not, it still makes my computer highly optimized. But again, this is for people who don't have that ab ability or that luxury for those types of like components within their PC. So that's step number one. Uh, item number two is you can actually go into uh, the start menu over here, click into settings, Oh, once you click into the cog, it opens up settings. And in here, we are going into, let's see, where are we going? We are going into storage. I'm trying to find it, but I'm going a little blind. Let's just find it. Storage settings. All right, when you're in here, uh, basically, wh whichever option, however you get it here, you're going to basically click into optimize drive. Now, it depends on which kind of drive you hire. Most likely, you're going to do it to your C drive. But... For me, for some odd reason, I can't optimize it. <laughs> but once you do have it, you can actually optimize the drive where it just does some fragmentation and make sure nothing is broken, everything is optimized, and the system is running perfectly. Because again, majority of the stuff is on the C drive, and you want to make sure everything is up to date and accurate over there, and it's optimizing. Unsure if it's because of the SSD, but for some odd reason, on this PC, I'm not allowed to optimize. But you will be able to give that option to be able to optimize your PC and your drive. Uh, once you do this, this should kind of uh, kick off the prices and increase it as well. The other thing is what you're going to go back into your search bar, uh, start menu, and you're going to type control panel. In control panel, we are going to search depending on how it looks over here, you may or may not already see it, but we're going for power option. So you can just search power and click into the power option setting. Now in here, whether you have balanced or high performance, I know it's recommended to have balanced, but obviously you're trying to optimize it, click have one A selected high performance, and then B change plan settings. In here, we're going to do change advanced power settings. What we're going to do over here is we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and we're going to click into the processor power management. Um, you're going to do minimum processor state at 0%. I have it at 100. You can just click into it and do zero and the maximum power state at 100%. So what normally is, is the case usually says 50 to 50, meaning it just wants it to be a half peak performance. You obviously want it at ma mi maximum. So do the minimum at zero, because you don't obviously want it to be wasting energy also, let, let it calm down. And then the maximum, have it at 100. Once you do this, you'll have your processor fully optimized and ready to go and basically do everything you need. So yeah, that's basically it. Like I said, no software is nothing crazy. And this should give you a good boost in your processing power and like, I help you speed up your computer. So yeah, <laughs> if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, just let me know in the comment section below. More than happy to help you guys out. Uh, if you overall like this video, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that more tutorials out. Peace.